Okay then, a new update. Oh, some progress I've made on my MZ project. There it is. This is the progress I've made. This, uh, well, pile of bits. Actually, this thing right here, this is the original crankcase gearbox unit. This is the original unit that I bought with the bike back in 1995. Right here you see it written on top EM301 which makes this gearbox one of the quite rare um, pieces with uh, the altered EM301 gear ratios. I'm now currently using another one with uh, EM250 uh, type gearbox in it. The reason that I did not use this uh, block anymore was that I had trouble with the clutch and well I was offered for free and had a gearbox uh, and crankshaft unit in good condition and good nick so well I just swapped piston and cylinder and that was it okay problems I had with the clutch here was slipping So now I have well, unboxed this uh, this unit and I've opened it up to ins to look and inspect what was uh, well what what might be the fault. I found three consecutive faults. One is on the adjustment. This pin, which drives, which is operated by cable, and that drives this. Well, how do you call it? Pressure, pressure plate, maybe. It is for some reason not straight. So that means that if I use the correct factory settings, I am not correctly adjusting my clutch. So that was fault number one. Next, I measured all the clutch pressure springs. And I don't know if you can see it, but they are of different lengths. Three of them are absolutely minimum, minimal size, minimal length. The three others are more than a mil below the, the figure. Uh, it was 26 millimeters, I believe. Next, all my clutch plates are of minimal thickness as well and that includes the cork plates as well as the steel plates third there's not a problem so it was simply no longer possible to adjust the clutch as it should be next all the parts were well at the end of the lifetime. Third, I found this decoloration, and well, I don't know if you I hope you can see it well in this light, but it's it, it's looking burnt, but it's not. There is some residue on this steel plate, and. I have a theory, uh, this is that little girl there, I was trying to get my attention, don't worry, <laughs> she's one of my neighbor's offspring. Um, what I think that has happened, has gone wrong, is that possibly I have once swapped the engine oil, about one quarter a liter, a liter in European uh, measurements, a quarter in American with uh, what I had available at that very time, which was not the original grade oil. So I had to use what was at hand, that was well standard motorcycle oil and not transmission oil. Well, my, thing, my thinking now is that this once use of doped, partly synthetic, super superior modern type engine oil,
ruined my clutch because that clutch never was designed for such a high grade oil. So um, am I happy with this result? Yes I am. Because I now know what was wrong. I have two, possibly three plausible reasons for what went wrong, which I can fix easily. Because the plates, springs and the lever all are readily available on the internet. Next, the crankshaft yeah. is still in perfect operating condition. Yuppie the poopy. So maybe I'll swap the seals, crankshaft seals on both sides. But that's all. The crankshaft itself is in good nick. Maybe almost perfect nick. Well, it might be because it has, it has done uh, about 20,000 kilometers, which is not a lot. Of course, but it is in perfect nick. So that well cheapens down the project considerably. Well, so far so good. I think that well I have to clean everything up here and then stock it until I have the money to order the parts and well once I have the parts everything may be Rebounded. Hmm? Happy big camper over here. Thanks for watching. So far, so good. Bye.